What is up you guys, it's Bethany Hiddle here, and today I am going over a few things I got off of eBay as of right now, and then I still have more coming, don't worry, and then, yeah. So first I got this Rolling Stones Tattoo U cassette, already tested it out, it works, so excited to listen to that. Next thing is this single record. I have no clue if this works or not. I haven't tested it yet. It has a little bit. It does have some scratches on it, but but yeah, I'm excited. Um, hopefully it works. I mean. Hopefully it works. And then I've got this Meatloaf Bad Out of Hell 3. It's the Monster is Loose. And I am going to open this today. Yeah, I got it sealed. You know, it still has that on it. And then it has the third installment to Rock's Most Epic Adventure includes The Monsters Loose, it's all coming back to me now. Uh, Blind as a Bat, Special Edition Bonus DVD includes videos and making of The Monsters Loose and exclusive photos. And also I did not pay $28.99 for it. I think I'd actually got a deal on it. So, this is one I've been wanting. So, now, I have all three of the Bad Out of Hell CDs. So, kind of feel bad for, like, oh, taking the packaging off of this. Because, I mean, it is old. Well, it's not old. But, a lot of people don't know about it. A lot of people don't even know there is a Bad Out of Hell 3. And the only reason I do is because, again, I did my uh, research and stuff. Uh, Ooh, I'm going to drop it. Alrighty. That's what it looks like. That is cool, actually. Let's see. There a little bit. Bad out of hell three. Okay. <laughs> this is cool. So it has two discs. I can say that. I don't know which one's the DVD and which one's the CD. I assume this one's the DVD because I have noticed a lot of his like Battle of Hell CDs are black. I mean, this is one I'm definitely going to have to, like, listen to, but I like that he's right there. Yeah, I'm going to definitely have to listen to that, so. Okay. But, yeah. I, uh... I have several versions of the Bad Out of Hell and then Bad Out of Hell 2. So I have them both on cassette and I have them both on CD. 
and I refuse to pay. Like, I mean, I don't refuse, but they're expensive, so I haven't really got them on record. So. Yeah, and because he just died, they're even more expensive. So, yay. So, I'm going to pause this, and I'm going to listen to, uh, part of it, and see what I think. So. See you in a minute. Alright, so, I've listened to it, and I like it. Let's do it. I like it. Yay! I do. I really like that one. And again, it's a one a lot of people don't really know about. So, if you do, leave it in the comments. See you in a minute, because I'm going to try this record out. Well, this singles record, and see if it works. I mean, it has scratches on it, but I do still want to see if it works. See you in a minute. Alrighty, so, haven't tested it yet. We got Joe Elliott in the background back there. But, uh, basically, I, again, have not tried it out yet. I just had to reposition you guys. It's got scratches, so... Yeah, like, you can't see them on there. Yeah, you can't really see them, but it's... At least i do anything for love side is pretty scratched up. And the Rock and Roll Dreams come through, not as much. It's scratched a little bit, but not as much. So, there we go. Okay. I'm going to pause y'all again. So, I just, um, uh, I just listened to that. Mm, it's questionable. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Cole over here and see what he thinks. Because both sides are questionable. So yeah, yeah, both, I don't know, don't know, but I mean, everything else turned out great, and I will give you an update on the record, see you guys later, hope you guys enjoyed it, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time, bye guys.